Hey guys, okay, this is another summer hairdo. Um, very different from my style. I've noticed that a lot of summer hair hairdos are coming out and they'll have like braids in it. So I really want to try out the whole, you know, like braiding parts in your hair. So um, I was kind of inspired to this one. I saw someone at the mall wearing a similar style like this and I decided to um, take it to a different level. So as you see right here, I have a braid. It's very thin and faint. I don't like my braids, my braids being that noticeable. Um, but it's a nice little touch and I have kind of like a small bouffant kind of thing back here or a poof and it's just bobby pinned down like that and all it requires is just teasing, some hairspray, bobby pins, a little bit of gel and like a teasing comb um, you stuff to part it with and this hey is okay so first thing I'm going to start off is start doing the whole parting hair thing so where I'm going to do the whole bouffant thing I'm going to want to section that part out first or it's just going to get caught with the braid. So you can do this with a comb or you can do it with your hand. I'm going to take this part of the crown right here. This may take some practice of like where you want to, where which part of the hair you have to separate. But this kind of like I already know. And it's mainly my short layers. So I'm just going to grab that and just pin it up. So I'm just using a butterfly clip just to section away just so it doesn't get in the way of the braid and you're gonna find what like you want to use the pull out of your braid like where you want to start your braid you're gonna want like a long so I'm pulling out this part of my bangs because I'm leaving my bangs out this is kind of thing that uh, if you have bangs because this is why because like, with the whole braiding um, I don't like braiding back my bangs so this is how I'm showing you how you can still incorporate the braid but still have your bangs out so I'm having a section like this it's in the very front I'm trying to grab a long piece, not too thick because I'm not going to do a thick braid unless you want it thick and you grab a thicker piece. So what you're going to do, and I'm just going to spray it with this Tresemme 24 hour body sculpting spray gel. Um, you can use like gel or, sorry, mousse, ooh, spray on my sweater. Um, I just need something to give my hair a bit of texture so it's just easier to work with. And I'm just going to pull it up like this and pull it to the side. I'm going to have it up like that. Zoom it a bit. Okay. Like that. And you're going to separate it into three sections, just like doing a regular bra braid. And don't worry about, you know, how thin the hair is going to be because you're going to be adding more. So you're going to start off your braid. So to do this hairstyle, I would suggest to um, know how to braid. So I'm just braiding it this way. And when you start realizing you're starting to, you know, lose a bit of hair, like you're not, you don't have a lot, I'm going to start grabbing sections from down here, from this side, and adding it into it just as if you were French braiding. So you add that into the section, and then you braid it in. I take the other side, like it just, it makes sense if you know how to French braid, which I have a video on. So again, I have this side of the section, it's a section that's sticking out to the left or right, and I just add hair in, and then you just braid it in. You do it again for the other side. So this is kind of like French braiding, not really, like it's kind of half and half. But you start French braiding more along to the side of your head. Okay, I'm going to stop soon. Okay, so now I'm just kind of braiding downwards. I'm going to pin it right here. I just kept on braiding the rest just in case it, so it doesn't unravel. So I'm just sliding a bobby pin in and taking one more and creating an X just to make sure it stays put. Just like that, so you have a braid all along across the bangs. It's very thin, not that noticeable. And you should probably make it tighter because it kind of loosened up towards here. Um, this is honestly my second time doing this hairstyle, so I'm still not that good at it. I'm just going to take some hairspray, which I cannot find. Okay, uh, I'm just going to use this finishing spray. This is the 24 hour body one. So it's from Tresemme, the Tresemme or whatever. Just bring it down. The sculpting gel should have made it frizzless and just make it stay down. So that's what it looks like the braid thing. You're going to let down the rest of your hair. You can leave it like this to make it look like the headband. So there's that. Oh, also spray where the bobby pins are. 
I'll just keep it smooth. But I'm going to add the bouffant thing. So you're going to need a couple more bobby pins. I'm keeping them the same color as my hair. If you want me to a different color if you're feeling funky. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing the section of my hair that I clipped up. And I'm grabbing the first layer, the part right here. And you're going to want to make it pretty thick because I'm teasing it. Teasing thin hair will not, like, it just, it's useless. And I forgot my teasing spray. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm still holding my section. The hairspray I'm using is called So, Go so Gorgeous Volumizing Hairspray. It's from Sally's Beauty Choice. Just going to spray the back. And I'm using a teasing comb from Sally's. Looks like that. And you're just going to start back combing. I'm doing it a lot because I want a stiff hold. Like, I want it to be really voluminous and stiff. Again, like I always warn, you're not supposed to tease your hair too much. That's why I don't do this hairstyle too, too often. Okay, I'm grabbing the next layer. Okay, remember, not too thin because then it won't tease. But yet, if it's too thick, you're not going to tease all of it. So I'm just like teasing everything. I'm going to set it down. Taking some more hairspray. Let that dry for a bit. I know I look silly right now. I'm going to pull that back. Oops. And see there's a section right here that like didn't like morph with it. You're going to tease that and then mesh it in together. I'm going to push it all back. I'm using a Too much. Sorry, I'm really bad at the zooming thing. Okay, you're going to grab it together, kind of like a ponytail. So I'm just grabbing the parts that I teased. Okay. Just like that. You're gonna smooth it out. You're gonna take the thick, you're gonna take the ponytail, and you're gonna twist it, pin it down, and then push it up. And then you're just gonna fix it to make sure it's just all evened out. This may take a few tries. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a bunch of bobby pins and start pinning it down. What I first do is I create the X. So I have one in. I'm going to slide the other side in to form the X. And then you just feel around where you need more um, hold. So I'm kind of creating like a, like a snowflake star with my bobby pins. And the fact that they're the same color as my hair, no one's going to notice. Like, this is not going to be as noticeable. And you might want to pin some parts back, anything you need fixing. This is more of a sloppy one. I'm going to take my finishing spray, spray the top just to keep it all down. stupid zoom. That's pretty much what it looks like. Um, it does just look like a regular bouffant, but it's one of those like if you look closely you can see the braid. Um, very, I find this pretty simple I guess. Um, the braiding may take practice, um, but that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching my first or second like summer kind of hairdo and I hope this is something that you guys would enjoy. I don't really know because I don't know, I'm just really experimenting right now. But I'm going to show you guys another one with the bouffant again, but your, your uh, bangs will be braided back. So, thanks for watching, and bye!